Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope you did enjoy this prayer. It's about the Lord. Praise be to the Word which became a man and the man is our God. The Word became a flesh and the Word is the Messiah and the Word is the God. Today our topic is about the Christmas and uh, I hope people who is there are in the chat they will focus with us. I will not allow any silly talk. If you don't like name of people who they are in the chat, leave. Don't make comment about their names. If you don't like what they say, you can answer them, but don't call them names. Um, if you don't like it, you can ignore them too. You can click at the name and you can block the person. You will not see his text anymore. Uh, one of you, he posted uh, a question saying, is it Christmas biblical? Shall we celebrate Christmas? And you know, I notice uh, that there is many, they make uh, such a claim that uh, Christmas is not biblical. And you know, they say, uh, actually, I'm going to read for you an article, but I'm not going to read the whole article. You can read it yourself if you want. And we will try to understand the logic of those people who they are supposedly Christians, but they think Christian, you know, like, you know, Christmas has nothing to do with Christianity. Actually, already I saw some chat, you know, and don't be offended if I call you silly. You know, you know me. I'm a person who say things as it is. I don't care who get offended. I don't care who like it. I don't care. You can call me names too. I mean, you can call me silly. You can call me stupid. You know, this is your business. But I'm a person. Before I just use my, uh, let us say, you know, I, I see I see things in in uh, in different way. There's people, they look at things so close. And when you are so close, you go blind. And there's people, they go and look so far. When you're so far, you don't see good. You have to be in the middle. And you can get a close after you are in the middle or so far, which means you have to be in the three places and then you can see a better vision. But what people do, they just run into a conclusion. And in front of us is an example of how you can be silly. This article is about Christmas is not supported by scriptures. Hmm, interesting. So we should not do anything unless it is supported by scriptures. I agree with that. Okay. Do you celebrate your birthday? I bet you he do. Do you celebrate your son's birthday? I bet you you do. Is the scripture saying that Jesus here wrote the Bible? No. So we should not have Bible. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus write it? No. Did Jesus even say write it? No. Hmm. Did Jesus ride a donkey? Yes. Do you ride a donkey? No. Do you ride a car? Yes. Hmm. Did Jesus speak about lighting a candle? Yes. Do you light candles? Um, I have LED. So, I mean, you can go with this uh, scripture thing in, in English way, because everything you do in your life today, it's have nothing to do with the scriptures. Is it the scriptures that you go and take your wife to vacation and she's wearing a bikini? Is it? Is it scriptures that your wife, she wear a short? Or even a skirt? So, you know, when those people, they claim to be too much into scriptures, we find that they are the last one who follow the scriptures. Either you are a person who go by the letter, or you don't. Either you understand it by the letter, or you understand the meaning of it. When Jesus speak about the chastity of men and women, 
he spoke about their ethic and behavior, not about their appearance. Even the women who is not from the Jews, Jesus, he forgave her sin. Even the women who have many husbands, even the one who was doing adultery. So what people they do, you know, they focus in one point and they make it a show, shooting target. And you will notice that the shooting target always will take us somewhere else. So we start with the Christmas and then we end attacking the Catholic. I mean, let us make it simple. All those who attack the Christmas, they want to attack the Catholic Church. But look, in the front of you, do you see anything pagan in the world of Christmas? Remember, I'm not a Catholic. And remember, I will not allow anyone to attack any church. But do you see in the world in the front of you, anything is pagan? It's a Chris Christ Mass. Christ Mass. It's a Christ service. It's like service every Sunday you do. This is what is Christmas. What's wrong with it? How that can be pagan? People will go to church. And today we designate a day to say this is the day where the Messiah, as an occasion, not a day of, 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 of birth, to celebrate the Messiah. So what's the problem? Do you see anything pagan there? Christ Mass. Well, that's mean every Sunday we have a Christmas. Because every Sunday is a Christ Mass. Secondly, when they say to you, oh, Christmas celebrated 300 years after Jesus. Well, before 300 years after Jesus, Christian even cannot say they are Christian, they get killed. What those people are talking about? So now they start celebrating because now they have their freedom. Before that, they are living in the basement. Nobody can speak of any celebration. They don't even dare to say we are Christians. And by the way, some people, they use the word the Christmas X. Never use that. That is a shame. That is a shame. This is what the atheists, they make you do. And then you are now insulting the Christ. Instead of using Christ's name, you say Xmas. Why? Is it Christ is X? How disgusting. Since when the Christ is X? Are you... Uh, tired of typing Christmas? If you are tired, don't type it. Never say X Mass. Christ is not X. So going back to the topic. Paganism is you celebrating something and that celebration make you worship other God who is a pagan God. Do we celebrate any God in a Christmas beside Jesus? Do we? No, we don't. So how that can be pagan? Then you go down, you will see the silly person, and I wanna call I don't want to call him stupid, I wanna call him silly. Christmas is rooted to paganism. Let us see how that works. I'm going to go with him and see how smart he is. And this person will present all those people who say the same. All those who say Christmas is rooted to paganism, including Muslims. And you will notice that both of them, they join forces against Christmas. Muslims, including the Muslim terrorist, Taliban. If you celebrate Christmas in Afghanistan, the punishment is death. Same as in Saudi Arabia, you will be arrested. So here there is a, there is a question. If, a Christ, if a Christmas is paganism anyway, how come the Muslims they go after us for celebrating Christmas? Why we will be arrested for that? They arrest us for doing something not biblical? So he said the Christmas is rooted, rooted to paganism. And the one who is saying uh, uh, CP is not responding to me, my friend, shall I read the article or read your text now? Do you think I have four eyes? I have two. So you see now I'm reading an article, answering the article, and obviously I cannot see your text.
Christian Prince is not answering my text. What I would do now? Fire him. So Christmas is rooted to paganism. Why, my friend? Let us see. In addition to Christmas, having no uh, scriptures basis, it is important to note that this celebration of the holiday did not stem from a Christian or church-based doctrine. Mm -hmm. mm. Church-based doctrine, scripture doctrine. Okay, I will go with you. Shall I count for you how many things you do in your life have nothing to do with the scriptures and you have no problem with it? Do you take mortgage? Do you take a loan? Do you use Visa card? Do you use MasterCard? Are they approved by the scriptures? Do you pay interest? Do you collect interest? Will you receive the interest from the bank from your saving account? Do you return it? Say, I don't want to give it. I don't want to take it. Do you agree with the bank when they give you a mortgage that you will be interest? Hmm. So, you know, you notice those people who they are suddenly so much conservative, they do everything not according to scriptures. But where in the scriptures it says you cannot celebrate the birth of Jesus? Show me. Because as long as you are a person who go by the scriptures, well, you should show me a scriptures. If there is anywhere it says, don't do that. If there is anyone from those who support this argument, can show me a verse in the Bible that Jesus said, don't celebrate my birth. Anyone? Anyone? I'm waiting. Because I will read the whole article here. I will find nothing from the scripture saying, don't do that. You see, those who speak about scriptures, shouldn't you provide the scriptures to prove your point? And then they will jump and they will say to you, oh, in the Old Testament, it says that some people, they decorate a tree and they worship the tree. You eat it, they are worshiping the tree. Do we worship a tree? Have you ever seen a Christian bowing down in the front of a tree and say, hey, tree, save me? We don't. So when somebody comes to you and says, well, this is not from the scriptures, it's not basic from the Bible, then we should not accept it. But there is nowhere in the Bible it says don't do that. Where in the Bible does it say celebrate his birth? Okay, okay you asked me a good question. Where in the Bible it says celebrate his birth? My friend, all of Christianity is about celebrating the birth of Christ. All of it. I mean, what, what kind of a Christian you are? We can show you tons of verses from the scriptures speaking about celebrating the birth of Christ. What Luke chapter 2 verse 11 says, For into you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is a Christ the Lord. If his birth is not important, then there is no stars will be falling, there is no kings will be born, and there is no good news is coming. What the Bible says is that even heaven having a party, even the skies having a party, even kings are coming from abroad to join the party. And party here doesn't mean 
dancing and those stupid things. Party here is the happiness. In Isaiah chapter 9 it says, For us a child is born. To us a son is given. Well, if his, his birth is not important or we should not celebrate it, why we are talking about his born, his born, his born? When Who care about his born anyway, right? One of the things I hate is stupidity and ignorance. First, stupidity, but ignorance is not better because ignorance leads you into being a stupid person. You speak as stupid, you act as stupid, you live as stupid, you die as stupid. And then you claim to be smart. The Bible speaks all over about good news. A new king is born, the king of kings. The day when Jesus is born is a new history. There's before Christ was born and before and after Christ is born. Learn history. Even the one who hated Christ they live and they pay and they get their salary by before Christ and after Christ. And you as a Christian, you don't want to celebrate before Christ and after Christ. Are we following? One of you, he said to me, a Christian, a Christian prince, you are scaring me. No, 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 what? Hold the feet of your mom. I want to tell you about my experience living between the pagan Muslims as a Christian child. There's only time where I feel I am different from those pagan Muslims. That was the Christmas time. Where all the Muslim kids, they get so jealous because we are happy. We have a different happiness. Muslims, they have holiday, you know. They go to the uh, to the playground and, you know, eat sweet and etc. Our holiday is different. Our Christmas is miraculous. Muslims fear it because a lot of people who they are Muslims, they see that Christianity is different. Christians are happy people. Look, look what the Christmas do. This is why Muslims defy Christmas. This is why Muslim Sheikh they make fatwa against anyone who put a Christmas in his house. He let Christmas enter his house. And what you do, you the one who claim to be Christians, you fight Christ from entering the house and the heart of Muslims. Christmas is love. Christmas is happiness. And God all, all what he is about is about love. What people do in Christmas? Eh, you might say to me, people go party and drink. and Those are not celebrating Christmas. Those are, they, wanna, they do that every Sunday, every, every Saturday, every Friday. They do it every day. We are talking about those who believe. What people do in Christmas, those who believe? They give charity to kids. They go over the orphans who have no parents and buy them gifts. This kid, he did not have a gift all the year. He have no father, he have no mother. Even that, you want to take it away from him. This little kid who don't even understand why, he don't even know what pagan mean. But because your majesty is so stupid and so foolish, you decide and you delete as you wish. Oh, Christmas is bad. What about the Easter? Does it say in the Bible, celebrate the Easter? I'm talking about Jesus now. Don't tell me the Easter of the Jews. 
Jesus in the Bible said, do this to remember me. Okay, what is that? The communion. So you should not do anything else. Everything else you do is not... Aren't you a person who go letter by letter? Hypocrites. So when they say to you that Christmas is rooted to paganism, and right away they jump, they say to you, December 25th, it used to be a pagan day. Who care about that day? First of all, who said to you that December 25th is the day of Christ? Oh, you just say that this is not day, but who said to you that Christmas day is the 25th? The Orthodox, they have different calendar. The Western, they have different calendar. So if you have a disagreement with the calendar, take the calendar you think it's more accurate. For me, I believe the Orthodox calendar is the most accurate. However, I don't care because both calendar at the end of the day, we are just celebrating the occasion, not the day, because that day will never be repeated. To make it simple for you, if you are born in the year 900, 1900, after 100 years, you try to celebrate, let's say you are born January 1st in the year 1900. And after 100 years, you want to celebrate that you lived for 100 years. In the same day, you are stupid. Because simply, you are wrong in the date. Don't you know that the year is not perfect? Which means you have to add days and you, add, you find yourself at the end of the time, you know, adding more than a month to the day you are born. So you are born in January 1st, then you find yourself, you are celebrating in February. So when people, they celebrate, a birthday of a child they are not celebrating the day for that they will never come back and even the day the date is not even accurate people are celebrating the occasion that today they have a gift and this gift is a gift from God so you celebrate a birthday of your son is that the scriptures so you are willing to celebrate your birthday your wife birthday your son birthday but the one who is the Savior who his birthday save us is not important according to you it's paganism so why you celebrate pagan practice of birthday they have a very crooked logic very silly and very shallow and right away you know they jump to say catholic church what does have to do with the catholic church you idiot the orthodox church which is the oldest church actually, celebrate the birthday of Christ too. But because they hate the Catholic man, let us, let us make something against the Catholic, 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 Catholic. Anything happened on this earth, the Catholic. Who created Islam? The Catholic. And I die laughing. There's tons of videos saying the one who created Islam is the Catholic. Why? Because a donkey, he says so. And if a donkey, he says so, the mule will follow. So when somebody come to us and say something, either you speak smart or mute yourself for you are being stupid. And then they start quoting for you verses from the Old Testament, which nothing really have to do with the, with the topic. Don't follow the tradition of the man. Okay, hold on, I wanna hold you accountable for this. How many things you follow today is a tradition of a man? Is the clothes you're wearing is the clothes of Jesus? <laughs> it's a tradition of the man. And then they jump right away. They say to you, Christmas tree and Santa Claus. This, first of all, who, who is forcing you to put a tree? Who said that the Christmas is a tree? And then they will quote for you from the Old Testament or in Jeremiah, or it says this, and it says that, that those people who cut the tree, and they decorate the tree, and they worship the tree, those are foolish. But these people are worshiping the tree, you idiot. Secondly, Santa Claus is the best Christian. You see, many stupid idiots, they think Santa Claus is a fiction man. He's not. He's a wonderful Christian. I wish I can be like him. This guy was giving all his money to make his children happy, poor children. He was doing a Christian act. What's wrong with Santa Claus? 
then you will start saying to you, oh, Santa Claus coming. I mean, this is the stories you create, not Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a person. He did not create this story. He's a guy who used to make gift by his hand, and he take it to the children. All this is all. This is all the crime he did. This is the crime of Santa Claus, who used to give gifts for free to children. And now he became an enemy for those who call themselves Christians. The shoes of a Santa Claus is better than your face. Do you give all your income to the children? Do you work all the year so you can give all your income to children in one day? Do you do that? You don't. You don't. This is a great man. You know, there is a verse in the Bible. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember where it speak about not. Yeah, we lost connection for a, for a second, maybe. There is a verse in the Bible uh, uh, where it says that, you know, when you are pure, when you are pure, you see everything pure. Let me, let me grab it. Here we go. Into the pure, all things are pure. But into them that are defied and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and the conscience defied. You can change the translation if the translation is hard for you. You know, this is Kong James Old old English. Uh, in case you like easier English. But what the verse is saying is very easy. When your mind, when sickness get into your mind, everything is sickness. You became paranoid conspiracy suddenly Christmas became a conspiracy a conspiracy conspiracy against Jesus excuse my English one of the most powerful thing actually changing the world is a Christmas people around the world they are celebrating the name of Jesus and that makes them more close to Christianity because Christ, he enter into their houses with happiness, pure happiness. Children. The best time in my life ever is not when I was a man. Is not when I was a soldier. Is not when I get my degree or degrees. It was the time when I was celebrating Christ's birth. And now you are telling me that this is not from the scriptures. Who are you? Those people, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly they are fighting Christ and they are fighting Christianity the earth and the heaven celebrate the birth of Jesus for into you is born this day in the city of David a savior When in Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, it says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. 
the miracle. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. God is with us. That is a Christmas, you idiot. Do you know what Emmanuel mean? If you have a friend, you did not see him for long. You make a party for him, a dining for him. You invite his family, your family. Good to have you, so glad to have you. Today, Emmanuel is here. So who said to you is not biblical? Who said? They lie to you, my friend. We can continue and we can give tons of verses from the Bible celebrating the birth of Jesus. The whole Bible is about either celebrating the birth of Jesus or celebrating the resurrection of Jesus or celebrating the coming, the second coming of Jesus. This is a Christianity. All the argument they give you is false and shallow and silly and stupid. And a kid who is wearing no socks, he can answer them. Imagine if you wear his socks. What will happen after? <laughs> you see, the Bible forbid us from doing something evil. Is the, is, the, is the Christmas evil? That is the question. We are celebrating Christ. Even the name, it says a Chris Mus. It's just a service celebrating Christ, which means every Sunday it is Chris Mus. Christ. It's a Christ day. You see, we don't call it Islamic Mus, Buddha Mus, Trump Mus. You know, when I say stupidity is amazing, uh, sometimes I have to say stupidity is scary because stupidity is not only coming from Muslims, it can come from those who call themselves Christians too. Very shallow. And they are the one who decide who go to heaven. You know, those are like Taliban, you know? Like, oh, if you do this, you don't go to heaven, brother. This is Islamic. No, this is Islam. This is Islam. This is Islamic. This is the this is the garbage of Muhammad. They are the one who hold the keys for heaven. When all of us we are sinners, all the Bible says so. So the day we be, decide to become decent, that is a Christmas. When we give gift to a kid, when we make a human being happy, that is decency. How come decency became paganism? Are we listening? So I say to you, and this is my advice, and you don't need to listen to me, I'm just nobody. I'm not a bishop, I'm not a priest. I refuse to be any of those names, actually. I hate those names, to be honest with you. I'm talking about many of these days, not all days. Many of these days, they are doing business, most of them, but not all of them. But I hate those titles, because those titles, they bring, you know, they make you proud of yourself. You make you... Like you are supposed to, you have a rank, you know, I'm a bishop. Yeah, yeah so I'm, you know, I know, you don't know, I'm a bishop. It's like the rabbis and the Pharisees in the, in the time of Jesus. They are the rabbi. They are the Pharisees. Even Jesus for them, he is no one. What are you talking about, Jesus? You do not know what are you talking about? He said to them, before Abraham I am. So there is a date where Jesus was born. And that date... Jesus was telling the Jews about before Abraham. There's a birthday. They said to him, you are 50, not even 50 years old. Jesus to them said to them, 
Don't only celebrate my birth date. Celebrate me before my birth, for I am your God. Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced. So do you think Abraham he rejoiced for seeing the day of Jesus? Or he did not? Well, this is what Jesus said, he rejoiced. For seeing what? The day of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus came to him. So how come Abraham, he rejoiced for seeing the day of Jesus and you claim that there's no day to rejoice for the birthday of Jesus? Are we listening, people? Did Abraham rejoice for the day of Jesus? Which verse in the Bible says that? Anyone remember? Remind me. Let us see how many of you know the Bible. And they say to you, there's nowhere it says rejoice. Nowhere it says celebrate. When the verse is in the front of our eyes. He saw my day. What day? Jesus did not go every day to Abraham. He was not living with Abraham. There's only a day. So for the day Abraham, he saw Jesus. That day was the day of rejoice. That's mean. <laughs> Abraham was having a Christmas at that day. You know what I mean? That is a Christmas. Abraham, he saw my day and he rejoiced. That truly, truly I say to you. So my friend, what those people they do, they speak to people who they are naive. And nothing wrong, you know, to be naive. I mean, we are naive in many ways. If you give me now a pen, and let us say ignorant, I want to use the word ignorant, maybe that's it better. If you give me a pen and say, Christian Prince, write for me a letter, have 100 word in English. I assure you, maybe 60 of them would be wrong. And you will laugh at me and say, you don't know English, man. Well, I am ignorant in English. It's a fact. But you cannot, and you shall not, be ignorant about your book, about the Lord you worship. You shall not let those people fool you. You will notice all those who attack Christmas. They share one thing. They want to kill your happiness. Islam want to kill happiness in this earth. Jehovah's Witnesses, they want to do the same. And whoever claimed to be Christians, suddenly he starts saying, Santa Claus. The funny, the same people, they celebrate Halloween, which is a pagan. But they have a problem with the Christmas. Halloween is a pure pagan celebration. It's a stupid even, even to have it. I mean, it's disgusting. A guy putting in front of his house like a grave and stupid stuff, you know. Eh, stupidity. And then they will say to you, additional to this, to attack Christmas, they say, well, it became a commercial. Uh, okay, so now if it's a commercial, that is, is that the fault of Christ? <laughs> you know what? When, when somebody says to me that this is a commercial, became a commercial, people buying gifts, etc., but this is make jobs. So what? Let people spend money so more people will live better. More people will work. There's, there's thousands and thousands of workers. They work all year long for this season. Which means there's millions of families. They make living when you spend money. You think only about companies making money, but you don't think that the company have employees. What about we close those companies as long as you hate commercial and stop buying jeans and stop buying shoes and stop buying cars and stop having electricity and go and live in the wood, Mr. Tarzan, as long as you are against commercial. When you are going to build a church, you hire who? 
a builder huh? but isn't it a builder a commercial builder why you hire him if you want to make a window for your house you hire who a carpenter huh? are you going to hire Joseph he's doing commercial business he will charge you and maybe Jesus will come with Joseph and he will install the window with him I mean people are silly very shallow and weird and I find them hypocrite too you know what I mean I find them hypocrite so my friends celebrate Christmas Christmas is a great Christmas is wonderful Christmas change our life nothing better than Christmas for it is a Christ day and Christmas is not 25th of December it's every day in our life you cannot be Christian if you don't celebrate such a day every day thank you God thank you God that the world became a man became a flesh that is our Christmas the first verse in the chapter of John the book of John is about Jesus the world who became a man which means it's about Christmas and yet those blind people did not see it is that because they have a bad vision or because their ignorance blind them or because they are copy paste I think copy paste work better I want to play this uh, short prayer in Aramaic language and Arabic about the Christmas and we go back to our topic. Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
All right. So, you know, this is my opinion. For sure, you do not need to agree with me. But all the Bible agree that we should celebrate the day of Christ. For everything in Christianity is about the day of Christ. The day he's born. The day he was resurrected. The day he became a flesh. And the good news, the good news, the word in jail, the gospel present his birthday. For that day is a new history for mankind. So those who say to you, don't celebrate Christmas, they are saying to you, don't celebrate Jesus. Because this is what you do when you celebrate Christmas. You are not celebrating anything else. And they are saying to you, don't follow tradition of the man. Well, the, everything you do is a celebration of a tradition of the man in your life. Ninety percent of things you do, which you claim you don't want to celebrate as a tradition of the man, you will find you are following uh, Jewish traditions, which is not even supported by Bible sometimes. Additional to that, these days, you know, people, they have a tradition, but they are not, not biblical, and the people, they have no problem with it. They have no problem with it. You know, and if we want to go and start making questions like Muslims, you know, to be very silly, like, is internet halal? Yeah. Silly, because this is, it's not mentioned in the Bible, my friend. So we should not use the internet, too. Maybe the devil created the internet. Make a conspiracy about it, people will believe it, trust me. So, as the Bible said, when you are pure, everything is made pure for you. You know, when a decent man, he go between a bunch of criminals, even though they are criminals, maybe they will kill him. Still, he don't see a bunch of criminals. He see them differently. He see them sinners, he need, they need help. He loved them. Is a believer. Jesus says, love your enemy. But they are criminals. But Jesus says, love your enemy. So the second Jesus said to me, love your enemy, that's mean I have to look at them with the eye of love. Not the eye of evil. Doesn't mean I'm blind. Doesn't mean I don't see. No, I see. And I know they are going to do evil to me. But I have the eyes of Jesus. So if you want to see Christmas is evil, because obviously you don't have the eyes of believers. If Jesus, he made us see the one who do evil, the one who slaughter us, the one who kill us, the one who want to torture us, still he said, love them, pray for them. Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. So look what you do, you hypocrite. People put Jesus in the cross, crucifying him, putting nails in his hands and his feet, making fun of him. Yet Jesus said, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. And you, you, the one who sees somebody put in a Christmas tree, oh, this is pagan, oh God, you are going to hell now. Oh, what, what are you doing? This is in a Christmas tree, this is not biblical. <laughs> Honestly, I feel sorry for those people. I really feel sorry for them. When the Bible says that a son is born and his name is Emmanuel, that is Christmas. What his name mean? God is with us. Emmanuel. That is the biggest celebration ever. You see, imagine if a king is coming to your house. And what do you do? The king is coming to your house. The ruler of your city is coming to your house. Get ready. 
So Emmanuel, God is with us, and you are saying there's nowhere in the Bible that says celebrate his day. Isn't it kings, they came all the way from the east to celebrate the birth of Jesus? Didn't they themselves, they give gifts? And you are claiming that there's no Christmas in the Bible, you liar? So my friends, don't let the fool fool you. You are smarter than this. So who want to be happy, his family happy, he want to be happy with the Christ? Who want to celebrate Christmas? Give me one. Give me one. Me, myself, I have no kids. I have nobody. But still, I celebrate Christmas by doing what I'm doing. This is my Christmas. Helping people to understand, helping people to be happy, helping people to reach out, to be family, to be together, that is my Christmas. Anything good you do is a Christmas, my friend. Any good you do. Now remember, Christmas is not about buying gifts you don't need. Buy things you need, which means give it to the one who need it. If your son, he has 10,000 toys, don't just get him another toy. That is foolish. Get him something he needs. Something will make him smarter. Not a spoiled boy or a girl. If you are celebrating Christmas, don't go and buy a gift to your dog. That is stupid. He's a dog. For him, a cookie is a gift. That's it. He's done. If you have extra money, go and fight somebody is poor. That is a Christmas. Christmas is love. Christ is the master of the art of love and living. Those who understand the Christ, they learn how to live and enjoy life. And those who don't understand the Christ, they die and they enjoy death. With the Christ, there is no death. Whoever believe in me and die will live. If you know Christ, you will learn how to be happy. You will learn how to be loving. You will learn how to be good to your wife. To your husband you will learn how to be good to your children to your neighbors and even to your enemy that is a christmas and me as a person who was born in the middle east christmas was the best thing in my life So don't kill Christmas on us. Human being, he have a lot of a drama, tragedy. I mean, come on, our life is full of sickness. Even that, you don't want to, even hap the happiness of a Christ, they want to steal it away from us. The happiness of a child, they want to steal it away from him. When all is done for good, All is done for good. When you do things for good reason, you are celebrating Christ. So don't let them fool you. Enjoy, be happy with your family and your children. And let us make this Christmas a different Christmas than the year before it. Let us think about somebody who need help. Someone, he don't even know what Christmas is about because he's so sad or she is so sad. Someone, he is disconnected. Someone, he have no family. Someone, he have nothing. How many of them? There is a lot of them. They have nothing. When a prophet, long time ago, he said, 
a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. He gave us a good news of a Christmas. Christmas is coming. Emmanuel is coming. Get ready for Emmanuel. So a true Christian is a person who gets ready every day for Emmanuel because any time he might knock at your door. The Lord, he said, I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was sick and you visited me. I was a prisoner and you came to me. I was hungry, you feed me. They said to him, Lord, when we did that to you, we never did that to you. He said, when you did it to my brothers, you did it to me. That is a Christmas. That is the day of Christ. When the Jews, they start to do the same as those people, they said to him, you are breaking the Sabbath. But the Lord was doing good in the Sabbath. He was saving mankind in the Sabbath. But for them, the Sabbath was more holy than saving the man. And Jesus said to them, Sabbath was made for the man. Not the man was made for Sabbath. Those people who want you to hate Christmas, they want you to believe that Sabbath is more important than the man. When in fact the Lord, he said, Sabbath was made for the man. Not the man was made for Sabbath. What does that mean? That means all the joy, God, He wants you to be happy. As long as it's a decent happiness. Good happiness. And the decent happiness is to make other people happy before you think of yourself. And this is what Christmas is about. You start thinking of others. How I can make this person happy. Regardless who is this person. That is decent. So don't listen to them. Don't let them poison you. Like before I start uh, going live, some people, they said some comment and I find it very embarrassing. Taliban comments, funny comments. Like this guy here, he said the Christmas is not pagan but Santa is. <laughs> and look, yes, look, I mean, look at that. I, mean, I don't know what to say. He sees you when you are sleeping. He know you when you are awake. He know if you have been uh, doing bad or good. I mean, how old are you? Are you six years old, kid? I mean, seriously, this guy who said this, are you six years old, kid? But Santa himself, he did not say he knew what you do. He never said that. Do you know even the person? You know that the person is real. This is not fiction. So the fiction is what you are saying here. If, if the parents, they are saying that to their kids, what does this have to do with Santa? <laughs> and now the problem, only God knows that. Santa do not know that. I know what to say to those people. So if somebody right now he go and he say Christian Prince he said lying that Christian Prince or let us say he's joking maybe like because this is a joke. I mean nobody believed that Santa he said that. So if you are a kid and your parents they say to you oh, Santa he brought it to you in the chimney to add some mystery and more more let us say more action. In people they might say this is a lie it's not true and don't tell lies to your children. I agree. Tell them this is a gift from me to you because I love you. That's it. Tell them about Santa that he was a great man who was giving free gifts to children. That's wonderful. So when they see him in the street, they remember the good man who used to be exist for real, not the fiction person. But what you are saying here, my friend, is embarrassing. Suddenly, you made us that we believe that Santa is God. He is the one he knew. God only knew. Santa don't know. Uh, 
I don't know how long you thought about this idea, but it looked like it took you some time. And don't be offended because I put your post here. I mean, you brought that yourself. What I can do? Right? So, I say, Christ is good. God is good. And his day is good. It doesn't matter what the date. You can celebrate a Christmas every day. Be happy, my friend. Good for you. The, the smart of us is the one who learn how to be happy. The stupid of us is the one who sit and keep crying for no reason. Listen carefully. If you are sick, if you are even dying, if you are dying and that's it, you have, let us say, a month to live. Okay, what you should do? Christ can help you, my friend. Christ can make you happy. If you are a believer in Christ, you will not fear death. And it's okay, I'm going to go to a better place. See, even, even death with the Christ is not something scary. For he brings happiness and comfort to your heart. With the Christ, you are stable. With the Christ, you are confident. With the Christ, you have no fear. With the Christ, you are not worried. So we need a Christ every day. We need a Christmas in every day in our life. Every day we have too many worry things. You know, bills, you have to pay this, you have a problem. Maybe you have a court, maybe you have etc. Life is full of crazy stuff. A lot of stress. So when the good God, he come and he give us some comfort time. You want to see it away from us. I'm not going to keep you long. Uh, maybe I better stop here. We answer the topic. And yes, I celebrate Christmas. And I love Christmas. And I love those who love Christmas. And those who don't want Christmas in Christianity, they are no Christians. Even if they claim to be so. Because the Bible says, the Word became a man. That is a Christmas. The Word is God who became a man that is our Christmas God himself Emmanuel we call him Emmanuel it's a, because it's a joy for God is with us stars fell from the sky when Jesus was born kings they came from the east to celebrate Jesus birth and they bow down and they give gifts to Jesus and they say to you where Christmas is in the Bible They lie to you, my friend. They lie to you. Celebrate Christmas, for nothing is better than Christmas. And I am sure that each one of you, he wished to go back as a child and enjoy that day when he was a kid, unless you have a bad time, bad history, let us say bad memory. But I guarantee you, even the growing one of us, I don't know how many of us are here are growing because people, they grow by age sometimes, but they don't grow, they're still children. But even the grown, growing was one of us is just a child. We wish to be kids again, enjoying Christmas as you used to do before. Because life destroyed us, life make us a stressful people, life, life make us not to feel happiness as in, anymore because we have too many things but when you were a kid, you were pure. You were pure as the Bible says. You were just a kid. You see only what kids can see. And that make you happy. You look at the criminals as if they are your friends. Because you are pure. To the pure, all things are pure. But to those who are not who are the field or bad, then believe in one. Nothing is a pure for always they have wrong eye. Always they look at things in the wrong way. 
There's a man, he see a woman, he see her as a mother. And there's a man, he see a woman, he see her as a sex object. Both of them are men. There's a man, he sees somebody holding some money. And he say, Lord, give him more. And there's someone, he sees somebody holding money, and he want to steal it. There's someone, he will see a child so beautiful, a gift of God. He prays the Lord that the Lord, he gave us children. And there's a ch someone, he will see a child. And he is so filthy. And he want to rip off the child. He want to break, destroy, steal, rape. So the pure, he see things pure. And the filthy, he see it filthy. And the pagan say it pagan, for he is pagan. We don't celebrate paganism, and we are following Jesus. If the Lord, he made us see even the criminals as people to love, how in the world you made us see Christmas as a crime? What a shame. Thank you all for being here. We will try to come again maybe tomorrow in the morning, USA time, if I could. Leave your comment. You don't have to agree with me. And let me tell you the good news. I don't care who agree, who don't. This is one thing about me you need to learn. I say what I believe, and I don't care what people say. And this is how I am since I was a kid. Nothing will change. For I am confident of my faith, of my Lord, and I know who I, who I am. You don't tell me who I am. I am the sinner. I am the sinner. I enjoy the Lord and His holiness. And His holiness, He brings some holiness to my life. Enough sin, enough disgusting life. Don't try to steal it away from us. So let the Holy Lord enter every house. Clear us from our sin, our bacteria, our disgusting life which is full of garbage. Let the Lord enter every house to clean it from the germs, to give it a fresh life. Every one of us need Him. And Christmas is a need, not a luxury. It's a need, especially to the poor one. The poor one needs it more than rich. We pray that the Lord, He will make you all happy with your family in this coming Christmas. I pray that all of you, you will receive your good wishes for the Lord will not grant bad ones. We pray to the Muslims to receive Jesus, to receive Christ and Christmas. We pray to the Hindus, to the Buddhas. We pray for everyone who is deceived. We pray for those who call themselves Christians, but they practice Taliban behavior. We pray for those who love love, for God is love. And with this, I want to say thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and Merry Christmas. If you like to join us and support what we do, you see our Patreon in the screen. And there, you don't even have to make donation, but you can just join so you can be updated when we are going to go live and you can join us. And for sure, we appreciate people who help. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord. And Christ is only about happiness, nothing but happiness. In his name we pray. And again, I want to play this song, which I love very much. It's about Christmas, and I did, you did hear it already. But really, I love it. Since I was a kid, I used to hear it.
Hey.